Hey guys, I'm Chris Martin. I'm with uh, Chris Saylor here from last week's episode, episode one, where we towered up the mountain in Sandias in his beautiful gray BMW M5. If you see a little cat running around here, this is Chloe. Chloe, meet everybody on the internet land. Uh, if you're listening to us on iTunes, you're not going to be able to see this beautiful cat, but uh, she's my best friend, so she'll be probably coming and joining us throughout the episode. Today, we're going to talk about burritos. Now, this uh, is something that goes on in Albuquerque all the time. Burritos are, this is places like claim to fame besides, uh, you know, the king, um, Walter White, and now the queen, Holly Holm, from last night. But let me just give you a perspective. This burrito business is such a big game <laughs> that I went to um, Frontier or Golden Pride, whatever you want to call it, to get this burrito today. And they had three drive through lines, cars stacked up, people running across the street getting burritos. It was pure madness. So by the luck of the draw, I got a burrito today. Uh, you call Blake's, and uh, I have to call them 10 minutes in advance. Otherwise, i got to wait in line for an hour to get a burrito. You know what I'm talking yeah, about I on know a Sunday exactly morning. exactly what you're talking about, yeah. Or on a Saturday morning. Uh, it's these no guys, joke, you know? No yeah, these, joke here. These burrito people <laughs> take it very seriously. Um, you know, so we have some pretty good burrito. Uh, burritos here to try and sample with you guys. I don't know exact numbers, but I would be confident to say that 90% of the burrito business is done by these two guys, Golden Pride and Blake's. I'd agree, yeah. Um, I don't have any numbers to back this up. If you do, you know, leave a comment below or something like that. But we're going to dive into this. I got two burritos, bacon red, uh, the Blake sign that you saw. You saw the Blake sign that said, yeah. get bacon today. Yeah. It said, get bacon. Everything's so, better with bacon. Yeah, that's what it said. So <laughs> yeah. we're getting bacon today. We're going to try it out. Okay, both burritos are about the same price, four bucks. You're going to see a definite size difference here. Uh, you know, you got your Blake's. You got your little Blake's uh, lot of man here. This is uh, the Blake's. It comes in this uh, aluminum, I don't know, space material. <laughs> I don't know what you call this, but uh, you can buy one of these burritos, take it home, wait 30 minutes, do your dishes and laundry, come back, and this thing is still extremely still hot. hot. Uh, so, this is uh, the size of this bad boy. Pretty, pretty, pretty big burrito. You know, pretty good size. I'm gonna touch these things, but I washed my hands before, so uh, we're all good. I'm gonna move our cat. Chloe, say hello in 4K. <laughs> She's a uh, uh, a person's cat. I got a number nine here. Or I don't know what number this is. Yeah, number nine. I subbed out the green chili, put red in here to make everything okay. consistent. You can clearly see the red chili coming out of this bad boy. Uh, I'm dropping some... So what uh, are we, egg, uh, bacon, hash browns, and red chili in both of them, right? Yeah, both, okay. both of them are the same uh, consistency. I should go over that. We have a tortilla. You can see that, of course. We have hash browns, uh, eggs, and uh, cheese, of course. And then we have bacon and our famous uh, red chili... Um, from, you know, wherever they get it. I don't know where they get the, the red Hatch chili. Or wherever it's from, yeah. Yeah, could be. Yeah. So we'll cut these bad boys up. I got my knife here, uh, you know, to cut these things in half. It's clean, right? Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> this is also clean. Okay. I washed this uh, after I washed my hands. Um, I, yeah, I didn't go, uh, you know, cutting cardboard boxes or something like that with yeah. this before. So we got to have your uh, right utensils and tools for the job. I'll split you here. So we're just going to kind of try this out. Um, there's no real winners in the burrito game, you know, because every burrito is like at the end of the day pretty good. Yeah. And I challenge you, if you are a good burrito maker, if this is what your family says is, damn, you can make a good breakfast burrito. Come to Albuquerque, show us your skills, because this is your target market. Where do you want to start? What do you want to do? You want to do uh, Blake's? Let's go Blake's well, first. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm a big Blake's fan. So. Okay, you're not a big Blake's fan. No, I am a big oh, Blake's okay. fan. Oh, so. okay. Okay, let's try be this out. On the opinion. I'm ready you can to go. Uh, visually see some consistency here. I'm looking down to see uh, if you can see it. Uh, pretty good, um, you know, pretty good bite structure here is, I don't know how you'd call this, but I can see I got hash browns, bacon, cheese, and red chili all in one yeah. bite. You want to do this? Yeah. All right. All right. Bomb. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. I'm going to take another bite. Is that, is that good? <laughs> The bacon, the red chili, eggs, I don't know, they do it yeah, right. Perfect. You know what's really good about them? They have consistency. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go there on a Saturday, a Tuesday, a Monday. This Blake's I go to over here has all day burritos. They serve breakfast all day. Any time of the day you go there, these guys are solid. 
what I like about it too is that the you actually have a, like multiple eggs in one burrito. Yeah. It's not just like half a fucking egg and you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So that's no fun to get a burrito. They put two. They put two in. At least two. That's pretty. I mean, that's a lot of egg in there, man. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm still I'm still mounting down, mounting down on this. Uh, it's sad because you can't just put this thing down. I mean, I, I know we have to, but um, I'm gonna take one more bite. You know, this is good, man. Mm. No, that was good. All right? Mm-hmm. If you eat one of these whole solid, I don't know that you're going back for more. I don't know that you're getting extras. I don't know that you're doing anything. You you know, one of these burritos is pretty solid <laughs> for a, a breakfast. I'd agree, definitely. All right, let's check out um, our number nine here, subbed out red for, uh, subbed out green for red to keep consistency. I don't, I don't know. I haven't had the red chili in a while, have you? I have not, no. I've okay. actually only had their green. So, but if you look at the egg, though, for sure, mm-hmm. the other one's got way more egg. You know? Yeah. Well, you can, yeah, you can definitely see, um, you know, consistency and, um, you know, what's going on here. Let's go for it. Okay. Mmm. Different flavor. Mm-hmm. More of like a bacon flavor in this one. You know yeah. And the chili's, uh, I don't know that it's stronger, but it has different taste. Yeah. You, you can tell the chili difference straight up. Yeah. And the tortilla tastes different, too. Mm-hmm. Tortilla tastes more homemade, kind of, you know what I mean? Don't they make their tortillas there? I think, I think you're right. Yeah. I think uh, Chris is right there. They do make their tortillas in-house. If you've ever been to the uh, Golden Pride on Central and Eubank, they have a big tortilla factory that they just pump out tortillas all day. I don't know if that's true about all the locations, but that one does specifically. Whereas uh, Blake's, uh, their tortillas come out of a bag, I believe. Where they get them or what the source is, I can't say. But this is spicier chili. I yeah. still have no, some, yeah. some spice in my mouth here. Not like uh, the Blake's. Now, it's, it's worth noting, if you guys haven't had chili or uh, you're unfamiliar with how the chili game is, you know, I could take two chilies from the same uh, bag or different bags pulled from the same day, bought from the same store, and they're gonna taste totally different. Did they freeze them for five days or 10 months or 10 years? Or, uh, you know, the, the, the spiciness, you yeah. can tell, just, Definitely I don't know how to explain spicier, it. Yeah. But the spiciness of chilies is very different. Um, but man, you can still taste the yeah. spicy. Totally different. Should have got us napkins, but thankfully, uh, Golden Pride got his napkins if you need one. I, I definitely you. do. You can definitely taste the bacon. Yeah. Yeah, this is a definitely a different kind of bacon. A little bit more... Cook it longer or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know much about bacon, but is it a different type? Is, is it smoked or something? Or yeah. what's the difference here? Maybe you guys on the internet will know the difference. But you can definitely taste a definite... Okay, here's the differences we know now. And tell me if I'm wrong here. Bacon taste. Yep. And spiciness of red chili. Yep. Those and tortilla. Are, and tortilla, yeah, right. Definitely about that, the tortilla. Yeah. That's a big difference, the tortilla for me. Have you... Uh, we'll go to this in other episodes with other people, but we'll try Taco Cabana. I don't know if you know... You know their tortillas. Yeah. Also homemade, really good tortillas. The tortilla actually kind of matters. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, check uh, check out Frontier too. Mm-hmm. They also got homemade tortillas as well. Well, Frontier and Golden Pride, same operation. Oh, I guess that's the same thing. Yeah, true. Same yeah. operation. Yeah. Golden Pride, aka uh, Frontier. You've seen them on Breaking Bad. Uh, they're famous in Albuquerque. They're over by Uni- uh, University of New Mexico. Massive lines. Three drive-through lines, guys. I am not kidding. Three drive-through lines stacked up today. To get this burrito. <laughs> people running around like mad people. Uh, five cars each line. Uh, you walk inside, pure madness, and they have like a thousand burritos. It's a, it's basically a burrito factory over there. You need to go get a picture of it. Yeah. Or drive by and just yeah, I'll get some B-roll maybe and add to this. So <laughs> yeah. you guys, I'll do some time lapse B-roll for you guys on another episode. <laughs> That'll be an addendum to this of uh, how these guys roll and uh, what it takes. So what do you think, man? Yeah, the big question: which one's better? I don't know. I, I'm gonna go with Blake's, man. You're gonna go Blake's. Yeah. Now it's interesting you mentioned that. Blake's is my go-to place. I live equidistant between Blake's and the Golden Pride that I got this from. But my go-to spot is, is Burger, through and through. Maybe it's size. I got to go back That's and try That's what it. I like. You get a bigger burrito. 
where I feel like I go to Golden Pride and I have to get two or three of them, where Blake's I get one and I'm good to go, you know? So. Now, it's worth mentioning, both are in the same price range, your mid fours. This one, uh, the Golden Pride, came out to four forty nine with our beautiful uh, state of New Mexico tax. Yeah. And uh, the Blake's came out, I don't remember, I lost the receipt, I tried to find the receipt, I think I tossed it when I got it. But it came out to be like four twenty, four forty. Same price, yeah. So, so, you know, negligible price here, guys. But definitely different taste profiles. Yeah. But again, I'm going to have to go with Blake's on this one. Definitely. Tasting back and forth, the hash browns are different, too. Mm -hmm. You notice that? I don't know what it is. I gotta, now I've got to taste this and hope i got enough hash browns to make a, to a decision here. I don't, I don't know. Today, I don't know. I've never had the red. I've always had it with green chili. Yeah. Normally, I actually get my burritos with sausage. This, oh, bacon, really? this bacon thing's new to me. But I figured new I got to go universal bacon? and go bacon. I got, <laughs> I got the marketing from Blake's in my face saying everything's better with bacon. So I made that decision, pulled the trigger there. Pretty good, dude. Yeah, this is a good Both way to start the, a good Sunday here. So you're saying straight up Blake's mm -hmm. killed it? Hands down. All right, guys. Well, that's it um, for the burrito thing. I guess I got to pick now, technically, too. Uh, mm. Right? <laughs> what just happened there, guys, is I just got a straight big bite of the red chili, <laughs> bacon, egg, sausage, and... Um, but let me, I don't know that I can say one's better than the other because it's really hard to do because they're both delicious burritos in their own special way. You gotta pick one though. I, I, okay, I will pick one, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna describe why I'm gonna pick one versus the okay. other. Visual difference, we got a visual size difference here. Blake's clearly bigger burrito for the same price. Totally different taste profiles. We have homemade tortillas versus uh, tortillas where I don't know where they come from. And I'll maybe uh, do some research and, and uh, throw some comments in the description of the video here on YouTube. Bacon's different. Red chili's different. Now, I am 100% loyal to Blake's. That's, uh, you know, there's no question about that there. But I think I'm going to actually go with Golden Pride. Now, why I say this is just okay. based off of the chili. I still, I love me some hot chili. Bad grammar, but following me, guys. I love uh, really hot chili. I love really hot salsa. Salsa fanatic, if you know me, uh, just I'll just eat that by you know the carton load. You know, just give me yeah. some, give me some solid chips, a little yeah. salt. Just and, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> just attack that thing. So today it's gonna for me it's gonna come down to the chili. I'm dropping stuff uh, here. Uh, I'm going I'm going with the chili. I'm going with the I'm going with the golden pride here. So we got a 50-50 split. Yeah. But uh, I think either way you can go okay. But for me, I like Blake's definitely. All right, guys. If you guys have uh, any advice or want to put some comments down of what you think is better, uh, throw it down on the video below. You know, I'm pointing down where the comments go. So put your, uh, put your comments there. Uh, if you're not from Albuquerque, come down, do the Walter White tour, say hello to Holly Holmes, get yourself some good burritos, uh, some good Southwest love, um, and we'll talk to you later, guys.